Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you strategies for teaching math for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy, and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you and your students. That way you can get out there and support the students that you work with. In today's episode, we will break down a third grade skill involving connecting, multiplication, and division. So we're talking about fact families today and how to integrate fact families more often. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. So your third graders may come into contact with a problem like this. Six equals 30 divided by N. And really at first, this might look a little bit confusing to them. So what we're going to do today is we are going to integrate fact families into this problem. Now, truly, the only thing that we are required to do for this problem is to figure out what N is. N is the unknown variable. It's an unknown value. We don't know what this value is yet. Now for your third graders, this is going to look very confusing to them. So first we're going to rewrite this problem in a way that third graders may understand. We're also going to solve for N and we are going to create three additional equations that will mirror what this is, okay? What this equation is using fact families. Okay, so first let's go ahead and rewrite this equation to look a little more familiar. So for your third graders, they might go, I don't even know what's happening because usually the 30, the total comes first. So you might say as a teacher or as a parent, okay, let's go ahead and write it like that. So this 30 divided by N equals six. All we're doing is we're taking the two values, the two sides of the equation, and we're flipping them around, we're rewriting them. And that is totally fine because the whole purpose of an equal sign is that one side is equal to the other. So if we switch the order of how they're appearing and move the six over to the right side, then that's fine to go, okay? So this might look a little bit more comfortable for your students, okay. So 30 divided by N equals six. Now. They're probably also gonna go say, what, what is this right here, this N? What does that even mean? Why are there letters in math, right? That's what third graders especially will often say. And we can say, look, we've seen this before. It's like 30 divided by what number equals six? Sometimes we've seen it as a question mark and now we're getting all fancy and we're just putting a letter there to show that we don't know that value yet. It's called a variable. So now your third graders might be saying, okay, all right, I understand this a little bit more. All right, so now what are we doing here? Well, we are dividing and when we divide, we know the total and we distribute equally. So our 30 is the total, okay? Our 30 is the total. We also have another known right over here. The six right here is our other known value. We know the total is 30. We also know that we have a value of six. Six is going to be our divisor. And the total has a fancy word too, it's called the dividend. What's the total called y'all? Dividend. What's our other known called? Divisor. There we go. So now we're trying to look for the quotient. So what we could actually do is rewrite it in a way that maybe students have seen. Okay, 30 divided by our divisor will also give us the value that we're looking for. Okay, so if I have 30 total divided by six, I'm gonna say groups, my quotient will be the things in each. I could have also said that it was six things in each and then determine how many groups. Either one would have been okay there. So let me go ahead and draw six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have 30 total divided equally, 30 total divided equally into six groups. So let's do that. Let me zoom in here, making sure that we use an organized method and not just throw out marks all over the place here. So watch as I make some tally marks here, some organized tally marks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to get to 30. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So how many things do we have in each? Five, right? Each group has five. So we know that 30 divided by six equals five. Therefore, 30 divided by five equals six. Therefore, N equals what? Five. So we figured out the value of N, but we also want to use this opportunity to practice integrating fact families more often. Okay, so for this one, we need two division and two multiplication equations. So let's take what we got first. We have that six equals 30 divided by N. And we know the value of N equals five. We'll just make a note of that, okay? We could also say N equals 30 divided by what? Six. And the value of N equals five. There we have two division equations, and now let's create similar multiplication equations. Okay, so we know six groups of N equals 30, and we know that N, if we flip-flop those factors and use the commutative property, N times six equals 30. And again, the value of N was five for each one. So it's really important to be integrating fact families whenever we can because we want our students to understand the connection between multiplication and division. So I hope that this was helpful today on how you can take a strange looking problem for third graders, rewrite it in a way that makes sense, model it in a way that makes sense, and then and then record some other fact families that go with this too, okay? If you're looking for more support on this skill and tons of other third grade skills, stay tuned because I'm about to point you in the right direction for your next steps that you can take. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you wanna see more, consider subscribing to the channel. It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely want to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, Definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast-style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for Taking on the Best, good news, Taking on the Fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.